Hey, what's up guys? I finally got the guts to record a foundation routine. My skin is definitely not near 100%, but um, I'm not breaking out at the moment and my acne scars have lightened up. Um, quite a lot since I started using this baby right here um, but it, there's still acne scars and my I still have an uneven skin tone I don't have perfect skin as it may seem on camera after my foundation so I want to show you guys um, what my skin really looks like and how um, drastic of a change foundation helps <laughs> um, don't be afraid when you see, I swear, <laughs> it's a it's a difference, but um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys for everyone who requested, um, yeah. Sorry for that awkward ending, but I'm going to get started with the video. The foundation I'm using is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. The color I'm in is 35. I'm applying a little bit on my hand, and I'm using a flat top um, buffer brush. The one I'm using specifically is by Kirkland that I got from Costco last year. But I know Sigma makes one and Sonia, so does Sonia Kashik. But what I'm doing is just um, dabbing the foundation all over my face and I'm, I'm kind of blending it and buffing it in um, afterwards. And I work from um, both sides of my face, then to my chin, and then my forehead last. So again, I dab and then I buff on the ends or at the edges um, and I like to make sure that I get foundation on the sides of my foreheads for some reason I get pimples there so that's what I'm covering now sometimes I forget but yeah you want to make sure you get every part of your face one thing I don't do though is blend down to my neck this foundation matches my skin like perfectly and I don't put foundation everywhere on my face it's mainly where I need it and um, now I just applied a little bit more on my hand and I'm going to um, do a second layer on areas I need more coverage um, and you can build it up if you need full coverage over the entire face. This is a medium to full coverage foundation. I like it though because it, it definitely keeps my skin matte all day and it lasts all day long. Okay, so for powder, I'm using my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder um, with my MAC 187. It's another stippling brush, and I, I try to use the least amount of powder as possible. I just usually put it where I get oily the most on my T-zone and just buffing it in. That's it, guys. Very easy. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video.